Hey guys, it's Jen Cora from HelloBeo.com. In this video, I'm going to be demoing these more specialty brush pens. In my first video in this series was the more traditional calligraphy brush pens, but these are some more fun ones that are used for art or not necessarily 100% used for brush calligraphy, but I wanted to show you how I use them for brush calligraphy. So we have some Pentel water brushes here. We have some Faber-Castell pens or markers, Tombow markers, Crayola, and some other fun stuff. So I'm just going to hop right into it. First up are the Pentel water brushes. In the smallest one, I have the Speedball Super Black ink. This is way blacker ink than the other ink that I'm using and these two brushes, which is the Higgins Eternal Black ink. You'll see the difference. I like both of the inks for different reasons, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you these guys. So this is the smallest Pentel Aquash water brush and I'm using the Rhodia dot pad paper as well as a calligraphy guide underneath. So I'm just going to show you this guy. Again, this is using the Speedball Super Black ink. To get it started, just squeeze a little bit, but then you're good from there. You can see how really nice and black that ink is. I love this. I love this combination of the Pentel water brushes with that ink. Here's the medium sized brush, and this is using again the Higgins Eternal Black Ink. And then finally, we have the broadest pen for the Pentel Aquash. Next up, I'm going to show you the Kuretake Zig Wink of Stella brush, and this is in gold. I love this pen so much, and it has a really nice tip. It's a little tough to get started, and I probably squeeze a little too hard, um, but this is a really nice pen that has some really glittery gold ink in it. I'm going to see if I can bring this up closer to the camera. I don't know if you can see the glitter coming off of that, but it's just so beautiful. And of course it looks even better on paper that isn't white. Next up, I just have a Crayola Super Tips. This is a pip squeak, which just means it's shorter, but you can do some really fun stuff with Crayola markers. This is a favorite among hand letterers. This is the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. It's a marker tip on one end and then a fine tip on the other end. I generally just use this tip for brush lettering. I love this so much. I ran out of room over there, but that's all right. You get the idea. Next up, I have the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. This is a smaller brush tip. These are a little bit scratchier than the Tombow Dual Brushes, and I generally don't use them so much for brush calligraphy, but you can definitely use them, especially on smoother paper like this Rhodia Dot Pad. You can also tell with these, it's a little bit harder to get a nice thick and thin. I'm also going to show you the big brother of this guy, which is the Big Brush Pen. It's again the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, but this is called a Big Brush. You can see that the difference between the sizes aren't that big. It just has a nice thicker to thin, so that might be a plus for you. Next up I have the Copic Sketch Markers. These markers are a little bit more alcohol based, so 
it has um, a little bit more of a stink to it, but this can be fun for brush lettering too. These can be more difficult to get used to, and I've heard that across the board with brush lettering, but once you get the hang of it, you can get some really nice effects. Last, I have the Zig Clean Color Real Brush. This is a pretty fun pen to use. It has a synthetic tip. If I were to compare it to anything, I would say that it's pretty similar to the Pentel Aquash water brushes as well. The tip is a lot more flexible than the Pentel water brush, but it has a fun effect, kind of like the Wink of Stella as well. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to check out my blog post for more detailed pictures and information about these brush pens. If you have any questions about any of these, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to learn brush lettering, make sure to check out my ebook. You can download the first chapter free. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!